Hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Vicky 2. Look, we're back into it. Um, I originally was going to try to play Moldavia, try to form Romania. Didn't work out the way I needed to, so, um, yeah, so I ended up, I said, screw it, let's play the even better country, aka the ditch. So let's go ahead and play this up. Um, the army is already getting set up as is. Um... I'm actually going to be building two different forces. And I got all my navies heading home. I'm going to kind of figure out where my military is at at this point. Um, I have done a game as the Dutch before. It actually isn't that hard. I got really lucky. Um, it's not that hard of a game to play. The only thing I have to start messing with is the fleet. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of around nine of the frigates. Um, to be totally honest. Um, you don't really need a big, big fleet as the Dutch. You, you need a minimal one. And as far as I'm concerned, the greatest country to get an alliance with at this stage in time is the Prussians. If you secure Prussia's alliance, you don't have to worry about any invasions through your east. Uh, most of the attacks will probably happen from Britain. And at this time, Britain's actually really friendly with the Belgians. And we actually have a thing to... Um, acquire any enemy state where we have core, restore order, annex a foreign country in all fronts of which are your cores. Um, so at this point in time, I'm actually not going to mess too much with that. Um, the only thing I am going to go ahead and do is get this force out in the east set to go. And then I'm actually going to go ahead, two, three, four, over here. So the goal is to basically get a full stack army, see where she's at at that point. Uh, we'll probably knock down army maintenance to about 30%, the usual standard that you go for, especially early game. I'll probably knock the fleet out a little bit. But I think getting rid of some of the frigates will probably be what gives us the um, overall stats that we need. Yeah, I really did want to try a game as um, Bremen. Um, no, I'm only allied with the Prussians. They're my, they're my friends. Um, I really did want to try to do a Romania game, but by the, I had it at speed 5 the whole time. because I was And I was recording it because I was like, well, speed 5, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I get lucky, something pops off, and I get really lucky, and I can form it early. Um, no, that didn't happen. Instead, what happened was I basically got stuck in a game where I'm sitting there for till the 1900 and I had the prestige. I had a small army finally formed, but it was like, there was nothing I could do. There really wasn't. Um, and, and I will say that with a passion for this game, which is, I love this game a lot. Um, but it is so difficult to get wars depending on how things go. Like you could just get an unlucky draw. Um, I think the I, I don't know exactly, but I think you definitely need this territory to be able to form Moldavia or have full Moldavia and all of its cores um, to then become Romania by annexing Wallachia. But I, I had a situation where I couldn't get it. No matter how much attention went up, nobody would. Uh, it, it was the one that wouldn't pop off, and because it wouldn't go off, I couldn't do what I wanted. On the other hand, it probably no way done in that shape, way, or form, and I probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, which is normal. Um, actually, you know what? I might get rid of all the frigates. Yeah, we'll get rid of the frigates. Okay, Rotterdam is our port. I need seven clippers. Oh, let me go back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need seven of these bad boys. And if anybody's curious, we're going to be doing medicine, experimental railroad, immediately go to culture and start getting our prestige up so we can become a great power. Uh, that'll be the goal of this. Um, as I said before, I have done a Dutch game. Um, as long as I don't do the Treaty of London, which forces me to give up on my um, territory there, I'm probably going to be fine. Uh, I don't think there's too many issues in that regard, um, gameplay-wise. Um, actually, I might go down experimental, then go get muzzleloader rifles. that give me a little bit of an advantage in the land wars. Um, other things we're going to be doing is I have to basically secure all of the east. Uh, we're going to be going more with these guys. We're also going to be going more with Etcha or Eka. Uh, we might see if we can secure all of Malaya. I don't know if it's possible, but again, I have to wait for the rest of these ships to get done. Uh, it's going to be a little bit. And that's the other thing. I primarily want to do this war so I can secure all of the coal and iron and sulfur reserves that uh, the Belgians have. And I did do this game before where eventually I was able to push in and I actually secured... Um, or Picardy, and I think even Champagne from the um, French. So you can do a Dutch game. It's it's completely possible. It, it, it's a bit of a challenge because you got to go a little bit 
without anything really going on for you. But there's a point in the game where you just start literally just steamrolling people. Your industry is not going to be that strong early on. It isn't designed to be. Um, actually, how'd somebody say do this? They said do this. Oh my god, that's a thing. Keep doing it. Keep maxing, keep maxing, you bastards. I love this. I didn't know this was a thing. He has mission machine parts. Oh, I wonder if I should keep pushing. And this will be the last one we ever see. The news of the world. Everybody enjoy because I probably won't click that anymore. Probably. Oh good, the clippers are getting done. Alright, since you guys are doing your thing, I guess we'll go ahead and start getting ready to secure the lands that we need. So, anybody protecting you? No, America's trying to. I want to go for a ballsy move. I want Haiti. Didn't I have you guys clicked here? Oh, I thought I had. Go ahead and head down here too. Good. Maybe we won't do experimental railroad just yet. I say actually, let's go for that. Let's do mechanical production to be honest. If we do mechanical production, that's a chance of getting precision work. And if I get precision work, I'm in the clear. Now somebody might say, Dima, why would you go for Haiti? You're gonna take as we saw, it's 17 prestige or 17 infamy, and there's probably not a guarantee you'll get it before the United States gets that going. Well, it has 180 days. It's going to take some time for the United States to even want to join the war. Even if they join the war, if I actually own the territory, they even if they have the navy, again, I will already have all the territory siege down, and I doubt they have enough. Um, I seriously doubt they'll have enough ships for it. Or enough troops for it. Because they'll be fighting us and they'll be fighting Mexico at the same time. So I think we can get Haiti before like it really becomes a thing. Um, yeah, because look, they're going to have a truce till 1842. That's four years from now. By the time I get down there, I have a full army. Stuff goes on, blah, yada, yada. Yeah, we'll be fine. It's a ballsy move, I, I, I must admit. But I, I think I can pull it off. America, buddy, pal, don't kill me. Even if they're a cordial, they won't join with them. I just gotta get friendly with the Americans. We're already at 50. It's good. Still missing two more trip clipper transports. And how long till you guys are done? Not for a while. And I'm not gonna put tariffs on early on because we're doing a masks taxing event. And I'd rather the taxes be done. Uh, we'll go for consciousness, because I can find what liberal agitation. Come on, guys, get that ship done. I mean, it doesn't matter if it doesn't get done in time or not, because in theory, I don't actually need that last ship. We only have eight troops, and what max will have nine when it starts. Uh, one thing I will be doing, though, real quickly, while this goes on, is getting... Dutch lands over here prepared. I would say go ahead and add this, add this, add this, and then I want to increase army maintenance to max. You guys are going to head down here, get on the ships, and you are heading immediately to Haiti. We're going to go right into it. Alright, so what all the territory is that we have that can get this? Um, I'm going to aim for this and this. Alright, good. Go ahead and do the war. Well, actually, where is America in this? Um, we have Route 65. Go for that. Still going to be neutral when the war starts. I say, 
How much longer? 0.03, so next month I can declare the war. And then these guys should be almost there. Yep. Okay, do the war. Annex 80. It's a ballsy move, I admit. But I think we can pull it off. I want Hispaniola. So I can have Spanish-speaking territory. Run the same art. <laughs> Run fast. <laughs> America, buddy, pal, stay away from me. All right, gentlemen, you're going to head down here, ships, get to St. Martin. If we had the cab, he'd be definitely sieging this down a lot faster. He'll be fine, though. Head west. And there are the Hispaniel troops. The Haitians will die. Want peace? Nope. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for this. I definitely want to secure this territory. I want more of the Caribbean under my, under my control. We won't get much in terms of resources, to be totally honest. Like, if you look, we're going to get some tobacco. That's about it. Um... But it is what it is, and I want land. Okay, head south. You guys will kill them. Good job, boys. That second ship get added. Excellent. Okay, head home, pick up our boys, and then send them back. We have military spending all the way up, yes. Not yet. Now we do. Well, you know what? By the time you guys actually get back there, you can already be... This will be done. No point. I'm going to risk you guys having more internal issues. Okay, secure this. How far is America from getting into this war? Quite some ways. Yeah, we'll have this before it ends. Okay, that's what I wanted out of that. Now we're going to go for cultural stuff. I want romanticism. This will be nice. Finally getting to control this. And with that, she falls. Excellent. Excellent. All right, gentlemen. You are to head home. You will go to Amsterdam. And with that... AT is ours. We own more of the Caribbean. Good. Good. All right, gentlemen, we got that. Ah, oh, Brazil, you want the alliance, my friend. Of course. Go ahead and upgrade that. Gotta get the rest of these ports going. Those are our ports. Uh, Jambe. Go down here in the south. You guys are good. Those are all fine. Malacca's Western Guinea, right? Yeah, Western Guinea. Your port can go here on the north side. I love penal colonies. Yours can go up here. Any other territories we have? Not really. Flores, Hanover, no. Will not touch you. They're not mine. Then next goal is to secure territory out in the east. I just don't care. Why my people want to keep dying in wars, I'll never know. Alright. Get rid of the pop. They need an infantry. And all they're already. Again, probably it, it makes sense to have done that because it gets rid of all the undermined troops so that I can have more into other fields. And then what we're going to do is cut back army maintenance to 30%. 
Good, we already have that all the way down. You guys can then head to the eastern side. Head over here. Those hussaws will be done soon. We'll do a war for... I would say Jahor. I think Jahor is the best bet. Um, British definitely need to improve our relations with them a fair bit more. I need them to be more on my side. And we already have clergymen at max on that. Go to Gelderlin. I want to get some prestige boosts. They're already ranked 9th, which is really good. Alright. Who's this alliance with? Etcha? Alrighty. It's a ballsy thing. When do I need to get this? Um... Pretty much medicine, it looks like. Um, we're going to go ahead and outlaw slavery. But I need to get that. Inorganic chemistry, otherwise it has a 5% chance of being researched. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to aim for that because that's just going to piss everybody off anyway. I say let's go for Jahor first. I think Jahor is the best bet. Um, that would secure us a fair bit of land. We would get access to more precious metals. And I think is that rubber or tropical wood? Tropical wood. Excellent. So aim for romanticism. Then go back, get idealism, start getting all this research tech done. Ten mark my ass. Force that above the hundred. Can tariff it at twenty five percent. Okay, first fleet still on our way. Go ahead and try to establish a protectorate. a lot of infamy but it's fine the new goal after this will be securing the Balinese so Bali is next and then Etja is next so we're gonna go for uh, right and left then that'll give us all control of this then we're gonna have for Brunei secure Brunei and then finish it up with pretty much that's it uh, the next ones will probably be up here Abu Dubai Oman Yemen stuff like that those are my next goals just gotta get ready for it man yeah, you pretty much just play the colonial game as, um, I'm just giving consciousness, I don't care. You pretty much just play the colonial game, it's not that hard to win though. Alright, I'm gonna try to safeguard everything here. So, I'm gonna go for a big push for that. Colombian, Amazonas. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. There's your war subsidies, have fun. Actually, are they able to cross into that? Probably. Who cares, though? Wow, Mexico's involved in this conflict, really. That's ballsy, Mexico, because America's about to kick your ass here in another year. I don't care. Don't care. Go for idealism. Excellent. Declared war. Kill them all. So proud of my boys. My boys. Get them. Get them. Did Etcha join? Nope, she said, hell no, I'm involved in this. Ow, hey, you got the right idea. Alright, and this will give us Malaya. And again, we gotta get friendly with the British. I almost completely forgot about this. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. I need 80 colonial power.
Well, we're building naval bases up, so that's about all I can do. Just gotta get it lucky and hope the British don't try to take it. Actually, the funny thing is, me taking this isn't probably a good thing, because it's just going to add more to it. It's actually kind of funny. Ah, uh, not necessarily. Um, it's going down by a little bit. Head down here real quick. I know if you build more, um, more of those, theoretically, it gives you more colonial power. How many more of you need, need your things done? Fair bit of you guys. Yours finished, yours finished. Are all the forts getting built up in, uh, here? Yes. Get Goderland next. I'm going to hold off from accepting this. Just because I want the mi military things going up. You built yours. You have one. I don't know how many more I'll have. Build nine more of those. We'll see if that gives me enough. How many do I get crude from technology time powered up? Hmm. We're going to go ahead and do only landed vote. We're just going to let all the people vote. Um, that's our first goal. Next goal is probably getting political parties done and then seeing where things go. I'd like to give liberals five more. Limited constitutionalism. Well, I mean, they can go ahead and do this war because I already know what's going to happen. Yeah, that's going to happen. And since Mexico is going to have its forces going in different areas, it's not going to end well for them. It's Ecuador, Colombia, and Brazil's about to get its territory. It's not going to end well for them. Actually, did they send any troops to... No, they didn't send any troops to the mainland. I thought... I was about to say, if the AI had a pair of balls, they'd send their entire army at me. Oh, jingoism. I bet I can't use it right now. Well, they own the territory that matters. And they are not willing to accept. How about the Colombians? They will not accept. Uh, it depends on if the Brazilians win that fight. Looks like they will not. They will not. I am deeply saddened by that. I just want to see what happens when one of those mana wars get built. If it does what I think it'll do, this is excellent for me. Because I want to see if building them gives me more military power or colonial power, and by how much. Because I'd really like to be able to do it. Because I want to get this before the British do. Because if I had to guess, they're probably getting the rest of New Zealand right now. Actually, surprisingly not. Are they able to get any of this? No, I need more space. I vote for protectionism. Conservative party is probably what we're going to have to have in this. Okay, go for ideological thought. They give you five. 
5 times 9, 45. Add the additional naval ports that maybe. I need a lot more of those ships. Yeah, as many as you want. I care less. Alright, Friesland? I thought it's your clergy. And then you guys are done at Gilderland. You can head to Hispaniola. It's pretty sad when Hispaniola is the next largest province I have. Actually, no, they already have the clergy. Excellent. Java? Head to Java. Wow. The Haitians actually built that bitch up. I like it. I gotta send those guys a singular army. Jesus Christ. Okay, I want you to send troops to here. Austria, I don't have nothing to do with you. Britain, best pal, buddy. Treaty of London, not happening. Bite my shiny metal ass. I'm not losing my cores. Bite me. Machine parts, baby. Please. Please. More. Give me more. Really, Hispaniola is considered a state. Really? Is it because I did conquest on it? It has to be. It's kind of cool. Hey. Alright, I'm going to send troops to them in hopes they win. Eh, just build as many of those dumb bastards as you need. The damn Portuguese. Cancel all of this. No point. No point. Alright, you bastards. Who's protecting you? The Spaniards? We're going to war. Delete them. Remove taxes from the rich. 90%. 95%. Oh no, Spain. I'm kicking your ass. You're going to protect the Portuguese. I want their land. Where are my boys? They've reached Brazil. Brazil. Population really ain't that bad, to be honest. Right. What do I need to get this? 1850 tech. It's getting there. I say state and government. Off. Upgrade Friesland. Gentlemen, head in. Got the rain down in South America. Kill them all. Ecuador will fall. Gone. Oh, shout Americans, you better run. I come for your soul. I come kill you now. Run in here. That's what I thought, bitches. Screw you, Ottomans. I don't want to touch you. You're tainted.
the head is Mexico right now. Wait, did they have a peace treaty? Did they get anything? What did you fight the war for? I don't think I've ever seen America peace out and they didn't get anything. They had to, they, they got like something out of this, right? Well, they don't own the Yukon. That's different. What did they get out of that? I want to know. I'm very curious. I am quite curious. That actually is strange. Well, everything's okay on this side. Um, I wonder if the British joined it, and that's why. Away. Man, I'm going to keep the offensive going for as long as I can. Do we get this in 1860? Okay, so we're going to aim for getting education going and the such, and then I'm a happy camper. Again, it's going to be kind of a slow start in terms of the European campaign. Um, really, North Germans are friends with the uh, British. What a shocker. I am not touching you, Austria. You are going to die, I think, this time around. All right, we own their territory. I think the Brazilians can take care of the rest of this, to be honest. But I'm going to stay here and keep helping them. I don't want to be involved with you. I'm friendly with the British and and the Germans. We're a neutral country right now. Please don't touch me. Don't hit me in the face. Brin, buddy, pal, you want to come through my lands? No, but we're going to get friendlier with you than you want to. I'll just keep punching them at this point. I got nothing to lose. It says it's at negative one battles, but we have the occupation, so it's going to go up and tick up automatically. I would accept that. Because now I'm going to push into your capital and take it next. They'd accept the offer. Good. Get the hell out of here and head home. Brazilians are going like, oh my god, I love these guys. They came in and saved us. The Dutch. The Dutch. Alright, I gave, I got military access. I'll give them military access. Russia. Ugh. I'm not involved. You people all go kill each other. I'm neutral. Oh my god, only if you lose if you lose all that protection, I'm killing you. I'm not even lying either. If Belgium loses access to its protection of Britain and France, I'm going all in on them. I did that before and I just sent the entire freaking Dutch military in and just squashed them. Took everything over and I'm just sitting there Look like Jeremy Clarkson with my smug face. Just going, yeah, boy. Britain wants the alliance. I can't say no to a British alliance. I'm sorry. Like, I'm going to keep friendly with the Germans. They'll keep military access through me. But if you can get a British alliance, man, you go for gold on this because... There's going to be a point where this occurs, and if they choose they want to help you, then you can use the British on the French. Alright. We're going to go ahead and jump on Positism. They get an additional boost. Oh my god, I've been letting that go off for a while. Fuck us. Good, you guys can get your clergy done too. What's our pop at? 2.11%. Okay, so we're well over where we need to be. Um, can we get clerks? I would like to have clerks. Eh. Alright. So, Friesland... Gelderland and Holland all have territory. Are the French at war with the British? Ooh. 
Wait a minute. Damn it. If if the Germans were at war with them as well, I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably be pushing in on Belgium right now. Uh, I just don't see the British winning this. I don't see a I don't see a dub in this. They need a lot more troops. Their navy ain't even well. Well, wait a minute. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? This. Oh, yeah. Eighty nine troops. The biggest chunk of it is up there. Where's the fleet? First fleet. I want you to send these boys home to Rotterdam. And I think the ballsiest move I could do, it's ballsy, it's even, it, you might even think it's insane, is hope the British fleet destroys France's, cut off the French by securing Dunkirk at the beginning of the fight, and trap all the Frenchmen up here while my fleet kind of just sits there and puts its hands behind its head and just relaxes, chillaxes. I need those extra reinforcements over here now. Really a question of would they join? The British are distracting a big chunk of their force. Um, probably not. I'm seeing troops head down here. Can I join on the British side? We're not a great power. That saddens me. That saddens me greatly. Yeah, the British are going to die. They not have enough troops. Is Hispaniola considered a acceptable... No. What do I care? Alright, change of minds again, boys. Head, to, head back here. Eh, the ships will be fine. I'm not going to lie, I was going to go for that. That would have been a great Belgian play, but... Nah, they're dead. I don't see the, um... British division surviving this. Britain's going to suffer greatly to this loss. And that's the other reason. I just saw 160 Frenchmen sitting there in Dunkirk. I'm not involved in this war. Now the Spaniards are in on this. But oh, you got balls. Germany, buddy, pow, I'll be friends, you are gonna die, Jesus, the French still will not beat them in naval combat, but the AI has no idea how fleets work, and the moment France took even a minute amount of that front and pushed in, it was over. So I said, this is the same issue I had when I played France, which is I played more defensively. So I had my troops stationed in Dunkirk and used my fleet to stop crossings from the British because I knew they'd overwhelm me. And that, that is an advantage when you play Britain, though. Like, that is both a blessing and a curse. Unless you keep your fleet there, the AI will storm across. France can easily kill the British in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Um... But the problem is the AI doesn't know how to utilize its fleet correctly. So it has over 125 ships. It has four times the fleet power of the French. But because the AI doesn't know how to calculate pushing troops in a place, it ends up destroying them like that. So it ends up screwing them horrifically. Um, kind of why I want to kind of get some of my stuff going right now. Because I know I need my forces. And we're at 17, no, 16.9 now. Um... I think what we'll go for is a push for this. Um, then we're going to aim for securing the rest of Portugal since the Unparted soon does. Um, I need my land. Um, again, the only person protecting Spain is them, and they only have an alliance with Portugal, so it'd only be Spain we'd be fighting. And I can get a slightly better military out 
I could probably beat them in a one-on-one -on -one fight. What's their fleet size? 13 ships. So you're probably even saying that they don't have a full fleet. So if they did have guys, I literally could go over here, seize these islands down, and nobody will ever come reinforce this because they don't have the troops. Um, doesn't actually surprise me all that much. Uh, my guys are doing fine economically. All right, there's the engineer. Um, I say we go for functionalism to get an additional education efficiency boost, and then I'm probably going to jump on realism because uh, I definitely want to get an additional prestige boost to boost me, hopefully above into or the uh, what do you call it, the um, great power status. Um, Java. All right, so I'm gonna build those guys up. I still am very proud that we got uh, Haiti and Dominican Republic. This is amazing. I love having this. Uh, what's one thing I do need to be able to get? Mili I probably will go military industrial complex. Um, probably a hundred points, right? Yeah, I have a higher level score score than a hundred. It's gonna be a while though. All right, what, what's the next thing we're building? Uh, canned goods. In Hispaniola, really? So, ah, good. The island, uh, our Caribbean island will have an economy going in. Good, they actually built the steel factory. That's one thing I can say proudly that I'm glad these guys did. They built the one thing I really need, and it's that. It's kind of why I'm letting my rich kind of go do their thing. I'm just not taxing them at all. I want them to build more factories. I want them to keep going with what they're going with. Um, oh, crap. But I think we went over again on episode. Um, I think this will be the only episode I do today. I'm actually off tomorrow. Praise the Lord Almighty God. Um, until Saturday. Um, so I have today. I might have... And I don't think I'll have time Thursday to record. So I'm probably going to use a good chunk of tomorrow as record time. And I'll probably finish this Netherlands game out. Um, because if I get it done, this means I have... The rest of the French campaign still going on in Vicky 2. I'll have a very short um, British game for Hoi 4. And then if I finish this out, I'm pretty much set. I have another game that hopefully gets me like another seven episodes for another week. Um, to be honest, I'm pushing a lot of Vicky 2 content out right now. Um, and I hope anybody who's watching the channel is okay with because I noticed um, since I did North Ger or played as Prussia. For Germany the first time. I noticed there's a lot of people that do look for um, Vicky 2 content, so I probably will be playing Vicky 2 for a while. Um, and I, I don't know how many people like the vanilla. I, again, I'm not a big fan of HPM, so it, it is a better version of Vicky 2, but in my personal opinion, in terms of play, I, I'm just used to vanilla so much that I actually enjoy it more. I bet if I played the multiplayer of it i probably would fall in love with hpm but again I, I don't play multiplayer none of my friends really want to play a game like this um it's hard enough trying to convince them to play hearts of iron uh only quibbling really plays and he doesn't play vicky too um but overall i mean i am enjoying this this is fun um as i said before i've done a dutch campaign so I, i've done it off screen and it's done really well um i'm hoping and it didn't really start coming into play until like maybe the 18 I think it was what the 1870s to 1890s is when I started popping off and it was beautiful as the Dutch. I was able to conquer Belgium. I killed the French. Um, I owned so many colonies. I was doing so good. So good. So good. As our former president used to say. Um, I, I mean, it was, I had good colonies in Africa. I was, I was so happy and that's what I'm going to be aiming for again. In the next 20 years, the goal is we've already secured the rest of Malaya. We have a good, friendly relationship with the British, so I don't see them wanting to get into conflict with too much with us. Um, I see Brunei, Etja, and Bali. I think that's what these guys are called, right, Bali? Uh, we're going to be aiming for this, this, and this. That's three more territories. And the other goal at some point is to go after Abu Dubai and make a protectorate out of them as well. Um, I think you have to be a great power to really get that 
status in because there was a weird thing where or, or actually portugal might have taken the southern bit which was lindy and i think when they took lindy that was enough to force a protectorate status on oman so you could literally just kill them and conquer them um, so that's probably what i'm going to be aiming for the goal is brunei or actually probably one of these two first then brunei actually i take it back i actually might go for brunei first it'll probably be brunei bali etcha Abu Dubai, because I always go for them. They're good oil province. Um, and then we'll look at what the rest of Arabia looks like at that time. I probably would be going for Oman first, then Yemen, and then Hejaz. Um, maybe Nej. Again, you kind of play a similar game every single time as different countries. It's just a matter of, like, you, you have to work with a much lower amount of uh, resources. Um, as, as Prussia, it's you have so much to work with that it's... It's very difficult to lose. Russia, you have so many resources to work with. It's hard to lose. The United States, after you become solidified, you, you're pretty much set to win. Um, France, same way. Every one of these countries kind of run the same policy. The only country that you really don't need to build too big of an army is probably Britain. You can actually probably survive as Britain with a very small f army base. Um, some people would probably disagree with that, but I, that's my personal opinion. And the reason I think of that is because of a couple things. Um, one, you're a freaking island, and two, you're not connected to anything. So all your main territory is guarded by a fleet, but uh, I'm pretty much going off on a tangent on that one. Um, as I said, we're probably just going to go ahead and just get the engineers done. I'm going to see what goes on. Um, is Amsterdam where this is at? Yes. Those troops are going to head back to Amsterdam. I'll probably unpause just for a few seconds so they can go do that. Um, you guys will form an army. Um, but that, that'll probably be the goal. I really want to go after Belgium if possible. Um, because if I take them out, I pretty much have the dub. And that's what I want. I want to conquer them. Um, uh, besides that, anything else is fair game. I just want to see how powerful I can get. I want to actually have a good North German game. I'm not going to lie. I'm playing this freaking Moldavia over here. Austria killed them. France killed them. The Dutch killed them. Russia killed them. Then at some point, everybody ganged up on Austria and made it like a secondary power, and it was hilarious to watch. Although the North Germans were still destroyed because France took Rhineland. <laughs> they took the Rhineland and um, Nordrhein. It was great. It was a horrible game I was playing. I don't ever want to see that again. So uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, everybody. Vicky to Dutch, a.k.a. Netherlands. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.